JB, BZ Dynasty. It's just hard. We want to do so much. It's hard being young, black, woke. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, we want more. This is the problem that we have with tradition, religion, people doing stuff, and they don't bother to investigate these things, y'all. Only thing I'm having some eggs for is my, my god darn scrambled egg breakfast, and you can look here at me right now. Because this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm tired of being penalized for not being churchy or politically correct and all this other stuff. We know that Bible was a bunch of black Hebrews that was keeping the commandments of their God. They ain't celebrating no Easter basket, no Christmas tree. And we in our household, we don't do these things either. Y'all heard it from JB Zion first. Only eggs y'all gonna see today in our videos is these scrambled eggs right here. I'm gonna be no eggs, no Easter bunnies. They're right. They're right. What's, What's up, BC, BC Dynasty? Dynasty? This is your boy JB Cyan on the track. And this is your girl Shani D. And we are. And we are. BZ, BZ Dynasty. Dynasty. Welcome back to the channel, fam. Uh, we just want to do a service announcement with all that's going on. Um, I know it's trying times. And we, as the BZ family, we wanted to kind of reach out to you all, our rest of our BZ family. Um, wherever you are throughout the world and your families and just kind of encourage you and talk about what's been going on um so this COVID 19 coronavirus 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 get it real get it real get it real get it real y'all at home y'all are probably bored by now out of your minds and we're just trying to encourage you based on what's going on they're saying that it's affecting our community um, the most so we want to make sure that you hear from us to say stay at home as yes. much as you can be safe um, There are plenty of things you can do at home try to stay active at home do the things that you always wanted to do And you just couldn't find time to do because you were always so busy Just try to stay at home be safe spend time with your families watch that movie You never got to see fix something. I don't know <laughs> hang up some pictures something we need to do yeah. um, Anything read that book you never got a chance to read you know just do whatever it takes to stay at home stay healthy um, order your groceries online if you can anything like that, you know And I did you guys want to do a shout out to one of our subscribers um, He brought it to my attention and I did want to address it um, My pops like my pastor. He also kind of wanted me to do a little bit on this too But this brother kind of had some good information. He had a good little um, list of do's and don'ts mm -hmm. And I kind of want to go through some of those things avoid um if you can cook your own food, y'all. I know we love fast food, even mm -hmm. we're working on that, but uh, you want to minimize any type of exposure that you might get from workers in fast food restaurants. So just being out, try mm -hmm. to stay in as much as you can. If you can cook, and this is a prime time to be able to uh, eat better. If you had any New Year's re resolutions of eating better, now's the time since we're supposed to be inside anyway. Try to cook your own food. Um, with water, I know there's been a lot of stuff going on with toilet tissue shortage and that kind of thing. Um, but the best thing, I wouldn't drink out the tap or anything. You know, if you can boil your own water and that kind of thing, do that. Um, avoid just going out. And, and even though I know we love our friends and family, but you guys, you want to stay as close to your own family and at home and safe as you can. Mm -hmm. um, so we can all get through this and we want to minimize exposure. Drink a lot of uh, green tea, um, avoid red meat, you guys pray. And, th and th this is where I want to go into a spiritual component. Yeah, I want to really talk about these things right here. So as Ms. Shandy let y'all know, these things have been hitting so-called black people hard, worst of all. Now there's a lot of different factors for that. Now one of which is a lot of black people initially we thought that we weren't affected by the coronavirus. Right, like less than what 30 days ago we didn't yeah. even know of a black person who was Getting affected it. by the coronavirus. Yeah, we don't even know a black person that had a single case. Right. And then your boy um, Donovan Mitchell in the NBA and I think also Kevin Durant. Things just started snowballing out of control after that. And what I'm trying to tell you guys is that a lot of us, because we presumed that we were untouchable with this, kind of went out and were careless, not had our mask on. We were going out, staying out, doing whatever, saying, oh, we can't be touched. So it actually touched you. And, and this is where I want to have a segment into black people. I want to talk to y'all a little bit. As you guys know, our channel is a firm believer and we stand on um, so-called black people being the descendants of the children of Israel. We are God's people, y'all. These are trying times for Israel, for Jake, y'all. I'm trying mm -hmm. to tell y'all. 
European white white fools, boy. I, now my thing is, I feel like somebody been crockpotting in a mad lab, scientists got a guy doing this stuff with this coronavirus. Like you can go into how the Simpsons kind of alluded to this coronavirus. There was a show they pulled the from. The Simpsons, they had some stuff. Yeah. That, uh... They didn't talk about a lot of stuff that was going to happen before <laughs> it happened. I'm trying to tell y'all. The Simpsons, and then they had a show on Netflix that they pulled that they were talking about a coronavirus outbreak. But I, I was looking up a lot of that stuff and, and y'all... Why do white society is scared, y'all? European, the, the world we live in, the powers that be, know what time it is, Jack. Black folks starting to wake up. We're starting to do our DNA. We're starting to come together. We're starting to stand for our community, be pro-black. And a lot of that, um, Satan is going to attack that. He's attack, attacking his movement. He's attacking black people reclaiming their heritage, y'all, coming back to who we are. And there's going to be resistance, y'all, from the powers that be. Now, I'm not saying that somebody went in and, and I can prove that they did this. But I do know that when Satan sees God's people waking up, he gonna, he gonna have one final scream before the kingdom come for Christ returns and that kind of thing. So you have to be aware of that, that the time clock of Babylon is winding down, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's getting to the point where the powers that be see the shift that's getting ready to take place and God is getting ready to raise up his people, restore his people. Christ's gonna come back and redeem us, y'all, save us from, from this captivity. I'm trying to tell you, it's a lot of stuff I can go in detail. I plan on doing another video about that. But I just want our people to be safe. We are the people yeah. of God. And even Israel, our ancestors back in the Bible, God told them, now if you go out there when the death angel doing his thing, you're going to get killed too. You're supposed to be inside your home, put the blood on the doorpost of your house, and you have to be safe and wise too. Black people, don't be vicarious and presumptuous and go out just thinking that you can do whatever so you can. let's talk about today. So we got a letter, at least one letter, about um, like a drive-in service for church today. I know today is Sunday. Um, for a lot of people, they've been trying to do like little Easter egg hunts in the neighborhood. They've been trying to have parades, yeah. Easter parades for kids. And let's talk about like that. I don't know. Are people going to church? Are they actually trying to do these drive-in services? Are they trying to, you know, get together and communion on today? Or Now y'all comment if y'all really? doing that kind of thing. Now, my take on that, we plan on doing a follow-up video, but I'm just going to give y'all a snippet. Religion is the biggest fraud on earth, y'all. I'm just gonna tell y'all. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit y'all with that. Christianity is the devil that about to be. We might edit that out, but I just gotta be real, y'all. Christianity is just formalized religion, and a lot of millennials, people our age, are starting to get away from religion. Like, if you look at the statistics, the millennials are the most underreached demographic that still go to church, that are active in the church, and that kind of thing. And there's a reason why. All right, we're doing more research. We're learning our heritage. We're doing our African roots, our Hebraic roots. We're learning who we are. And let's preference that. So for us, <laughs> <laughs> so for us, we we were strong girls. Okay, everybody knows that JV Zion is a licensed, ordained minister of the gospel. Okay, he knows that Bible better than any person I've ever met or ever known in my life. Truth be told, okay, so and... I was going to, we were both going to the same church as well, and we both served tremendously at yeah. that church. We put in a lot of time yeah. and hours. My girl was a, a PPA, y'all. <laughs> I mean, she did security, yeah. came out with the, pa I mean, they were like high detailed, whatever mm -hmm. the pastor needed. They were like the armor or like the CIA or something. Oh my goodness. I church. basically worked on like a church. And she was fine, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. Anyway, like, that's kind of how we met. But the point is to say that we, we've, we're not just people who've never really been in church and don't know anything about the Bible to say that we've kind of pulled away from religion and calling ourselves Christians. There's more to that. So we've been in the church. We know the word. We know God for ourselves. We have a relationship with him. So we're not saying that we don't, we're not, we're our followers of Christ. We believe in God. The historical Christ. Yes. I'm talking about the black man with the woolly hair that would look like this, like some locks or something. And, and not, what's it, Caesar Borgia? And not Caesar Borgia, <laughs> this white dude that come as you are. Blue eyes and, you know, Throwing and his hair in the hair. wind. That dude, we ain't with that dude. That's highway robbery of a people culture, y'all. That man never existed is what I'm telling you. I'm talking about Jesus, Jesus Christ, white dude, Sandy Brown here. Never existed, y'all. But I ain't gonna interrupt you, but yeah. <laughs> Educate yourself, educate yourself. But yeah. So about going to church and things like that. So today at churches you're going to hear or people are going to be doing online talking about Happy Easter, Happy Resurrection Sunday. <laughs> um, kids are going to, especially young kids, parents want their kids to have um, Easter egg hunts and going to these little, or having little parades and giving them candy and stuff. And I'm just like, 
why where did this thing with this bunny and this easter come from on this sunday i'm just like what does it have why would you teach your child that that's not in the bible like to make it seem like you have to add something man-made to make god's word fun yeah. for them to understand why not just take his word and I let, as it yeah, is yeah. yeah and break it down to them in a way that they can understand and to let his word be fun to them yeah. you know and not add to it something that has nothing to do with it so they can later be like hmm what is this why are we doing this should i be teaching my kids this why did they teach me this as a kid i mean yeah I just don't agree with that at all and I would really like churches to stop teaching that and you know condoning that but you know that's just my take and, on and it. And I'm with the same <laughs> sentiment y'all like what I'm trying to tell you well what is what Shawnee D is telling y'all what the queen is saying is that a lot of things that we do in church have no biblical base. Now hear me out now. A lot of stuff we do is man-made, is tradition, is well my big mama did this, I'm doing it. But nobody, and I mean nobody, has sat down to take the time to read the scriptures, to study them, to study. The Bible says in uh, Timothy, to study to show thyself approved, mm -hmm. a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightfully, right? Rightfully dividing the word of truth. Y you have to study, like, we're talking about God. We're talking about the creator of the universe. And we don't have diligence to study the only love letter he sent us to know him. That's scary, y'all. Mm -hmm. Like, if you don't read no other book, I know black people, you know, they say, if you want to hide anything from a Negro, you put it in a book. Uh -huh. And we got to break that sentiment. We have to break that stigmatization. We have to break that generational curse and stigma and label that's been placed on us as a community. And I ain't saying read every di dictionary and encyclopedia, but if you re if you don't read anything else, study the Bible, y'all, and mm -hmm. you will see. You ain't never going to see Moses and them under no Christmas tree with no presents, brother. It ain't happening, <laughs> brother. There is no Christmas tree. Now, now I tell y'all, for y'all that really want to want to try me, read Jeremiah chapter 10. That'll scare you. Because it talks about he who hews down a tree, and he decks it with, with ornaments of gold and silver. And the Bible says you should not do these things. Read Jeremiah chapter 10, y'all think I'm playing. But the point is, the Bible addresses this stuff. But it says these are the pagan rituals that the people around you do. He never commanded Israel or his people to celebrate these things. What he did give them, y'all, was law, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. Why I got my beard. Why we going natural and we working on the journey. Oh, even though the, the girl counts with my baby sweetie yeah, sister. Yeah, I'm still working on that video. Come soon about that, but yes. But yeah, that, that's why we do the stuff we do. We don't touch porky pig, y'all, because the Bible says... Now, this is the thing that get me with folks. Like, I be at work, y'all. I ain't trying to go off on the deep end. But they'll be like, why you don't eat pork? Is it for health reasons? It can't be for religious reasons. Paul, scared. Pit the brakes on a little bit. So who's smarter, the scientists of God? Most people tell me, yeah, we know that it's not good for your health, but the Bible doesn't say we're free from the law. If God doesn't care about your health, and God said pork was bad first. So now let me get this straight. God said don't eat it. And you saying grace said you can eat what you want. But then our people died from hypertension, mm -hmm. coronary heart disease. Mm -hmm. And then you say, well, diabetes. I ain't going to diabetes. <laughs> Obesity. Obesity. <laughs> like, and it's because we eat the porky pig ribs, me brother. And, and, and it takes a white doctor. I'm just going to be real, y'all. To come and tell you don't eat that for health reasons. Then you'll be like, well, I don't eat it because the Bible, because, you know, the grace frees us. But I eat it for my health. Right, right. Like, you got plenty of people that, you have people like um, personal trainers. You have all these girls and guys doing all these fitness videos. Mm -hmm. You have people going, what's it, paleo, all uh -huh. these different vegan. Yeah. But when the Bible says don't eat certain things or certain things, it's better for you not to touch. Then it's like, oh, well, we saved by grace for everything. It's like, crazy, y'all. It's like we <laughs> use grace as a credit card, as a license to sin. Grace was never intended when, when Yeshua, that's his Hebrew name. Y'all research it. I do a little videos on it, but I'm just throwing nuggets out. When Yeshua died on the cross for our sins, did he die that we might sin more? We, he died that you might live unto him. Everybody says that. It's a cliche in church, but nobody is doing it. And, and an easy thing to say is, okay, did Christ eat pork? Most people say, well, no, he wouldn't have. Did Christ have his beard? Did he keep the commandments? But then Christians say that the man that made 100 on the test, you don't have to study for that same test. Like, come on now. Grace is like a grace period. Y'all not heard of a grace period before. Mm -hmm. like, got you, grace period on these bills. Yeah, brother. <laughs> like, even now, they're giving a lot of that stuff with all the coronavirus stuff going on. Mm -hmm. But it don't mean you don't pay it, me, brother. It you means... You don't pay it eventually. Yes. <laughs> it's giving you an opportunity to clean up what you got to clean up. To, if you don't have it this month, we'll give you a period to get your funds together. 
That's what the grace of the Most High God is, y'all. It's grace that when you fall short, but you don't shoot for that standard. You shoot for excellence. You shoot for the standard of keeping God's laws because you live by them. The Bible just telling you how to live, how to eat right, how to, you know, do mm -hmm. things that's going to help you anyway. But yeah, yeah, I ain't mean to go off in deep, deep end on that. But basically, we ain't celebrating no Easter baskets, y'all. And a right. bunny can't even lay eggs, me, bro. <laughs> right. It's common sense. To it's pagan rituals that the church has adopted because the church is based on white supremacy, blonde hair, blue eyes, Jesus Christ that ain't never existed, and not the Hebraic, Eastern African, Israelite origins of the Bible. Mm -hmm. We've taken a cultural book and turned it into a worldwide religion. Mm -hmm. That is not what the Bible is. The Bible is the heritage of a people, so-called blacks and other different groups, Hispanics and other people that descend from the E1B1A, and I ain't going to go deep in that. You can do your African ancestry. I got videos on that, y'all. But the Yoruba, the Bantu, the Igbo, the Ashanti tribe, the Akan, a lot of these African groups that migrated from Northeast Africa are Israel. Mm -hmm. They still keep these things today. Like if you go to Africa now, they don't eat pork because we descend from a people that descend from the people of God. The Bible is that history book. And there's other groups. Jews don't eat pork. Like oh, they don't now. Jews. The Ashkenaz, the eat white man. Basically. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pork. I got to keep that it Muslims don't eat pork. Yeah, Muslims. So people honor and respect that. But if a black person says they don't eat pork because they believe it in the Bible and trying yeah. to go by God's commandments in that regard, it's like, oh, they can't be serious. I yeah. can't go along with that. But we honor and respect other people's beliefs mm -hmm. that doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna deal with the other And it be your own people. That's the most frustrating part. You don't get most of the time we don't get white people being like, oh well you don't eat pork. Oh well that's that's odd. Like you don't usually get that. You don't get other races particularly. It be your own it be black people that mm -hmm. question you and like oh no nah, they ain't talking about they on some uh, other stuff. You know like what? <laughs> and it's crazy like they say oh well grace. Grace frees us from common sense. Grace frees us from eating right. Grace like, God didn't mean for you to use grace to kill yourself. Grace is to help you till you get yourself right. But, like, even the nation. Shout out to the nation of Islam, y'all. Like, Farrakhan, them, Malcolm X, and all these brothers. And if y'all into rap like Jay-Z and Jay Electronica, he just released an album where the opening prelude of Jay-Z Jay and Jay Electronica album is um, Farrakhan saying that black people are the children. I don't want to waste any time. I asked the question, who are the real children of Israel? And I'd like to answer it right away. That the black people of America are the real children of Israel. I, I can do a reaction to that, that whole album, y'all. It's dope. And they, we, are the choice of God. Right. And that unto us he will deliver his promise. But basically what I'm saying is, even them brothers know who we are as a people. Now, the Muslims, I don't believe in the whole doing a Quran, Quran route, but I respect what they fundamentally believe as black people being God-chosen people and that we need to come together and better ourselves from white society and that kind of thing, y'all. Mm -hmm. and, and the respect thing is a big yeah. thing, too. I feel like even if you don't totally understand somebody's belief, you don't have to disrespect them or disregard yeah. what they believe. Like I feel like black people are the main ones who do that to other black people. Yeah. Like they just, they, they don't believe, they're not strong in uplifting and building each other up. Yeah, which is something true. we need to be more about unifying as a people. Like yeah, black bro. people need to know that black people are a people. Even though nah, that's good, right? we're, I guess, so-called black. Because black isn't even necessarily a nationality. It's a color. It's a color. So this, I say black to get a, a common understanding yeah. of who we are as a people. But we are a people. I'm an Israelite. Don't call me black no more. So we need to join together when things happen to our people, yes. like this coronavirus and how it's affecting our people the most at the time. This is a time where we need to stand together and make sure that our people are being taken care of and that this isn't hurting and damaging our communities. Now, Shawnee D, she preaching, y'all. Y'all better, I'm telling you, this girl right here bad, but this girl, I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all. Now, when they're going Papa John's, the CEO said what he said, not one Negro boycotted Papa John's pizza. Yeah, Papa John's, right? H and M, Starbucks. Um, Starbucks. We don't think people forgot. They forgot. They what forgot. Happened. They, they forgot. They was drinking that Starbucks yesterday. They forgot. They they did. They they, they tempurpedic on these boys. I'm and trying to tell you. Who was that guy? It was a guy on a plane, right? Oh yeah, now, I'm glad you brought I bet that they up. Didn't, I, they didn't. They didn't. Those people didn't forget. Oh yeah, they didn't forget. <laughs> now I'm trying to tell y'all, and they still ain't forgot. 
Okay, let me tell y'all the story that we got this inside symmetry going on, but we're we gonna bring y'all into into this, y'all. What I'm what we trying to tell y'all is, there was incidents where there was this uh, Chinese guy that got on the plane, and they recorded him getting beat up. They wanted him to get off the plane. I don't know what the guy did, but they knocked the glasses off his face. The in, the entire Chinese government, China itself, boycotted, sued the entire airlines. But this. this this, this is public what, news. Yeah, right? this is public news. <laughs> and we're trying to show y'all that every other group thinks like a collective whole except for so called Nigers. We think like individual lives instead of a union of people that love each other, that support each other. That if one of us gets shot on the street, you might as well kill all of our sons. Because that's how hard we're going to protest. We're going to riot. We're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're not going to uh, support the establishment that might have done a discriminatory act against us. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest thing is if you don't want to go out in public and physically, I guess, walk to protest or oh, rally yeah. or go do a sit-in, the biggest control that we have is our dollars, where we spend our money. If we could come together as a people and be like, you know what, if, if this is happening to our people, our people are getting shot down in the streets, things like that what we can do is hold that dollar when days like easter come which today because of what's going on a lot of people aren't spending a lot of money but please believe when this quarantine is over everybody's gonna want to go out and spend money but if something's going on with our community that's hurting us hold that like don't go out and buy all the barbecue in the world for like memorial day or labor yeah. day when it comes up don't buy all oh, the food that you love. like or, or, yeah, yeah or ham or things like that for thanksgiving if it's hurting after if there are other things that are going on that are hurting our community hold your money and use it only within our community people of our community mm. that are selling these products like buy from people like there are plenty of people who are doing like meal preps and stuff like that mm -hmm. buy from people that are growing from their own land and stuff like that like don't give your money away y'all <laughs> feel me yeah i hope y'all getting all these nicks she dropping bombs on y'all like basically we got to support our own black establishments mm -hmm. we have to know the power of the dollar the, the highest consumer ethnicity group in America is so-called black people. Even though we only 11-12% of the population, we spend the most. Mm -hmm. So that means we have the money to be able to support our own. Which means we have enough to make a difference. Yeah. So so we can go off into a lot of this different stuff, y'all. I'm going to have a video coming. I'm going to do a little bit more biblical teaching. Christ did not die on Friday and rise on Sunday. It defies mathematics. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That ain't three. That ain't even three days. So then the Baptist church came, the new Baptist church. Okay, well, he died on Thursday and rose on Sunday. The Bible tells you in Matthew 28 that after the Sabbath, Christ was crucified on Passover. And if you do your research, that would have been a Wednesday during Christ's time 2,000 years ago. And he rose on the Sabbath. The weekly Sabbath would have been Saturday. But a lot of this stuff, people don't do their research. They don't study. And a lot of stuff we do is tradition of men. That's why we, we don't we call ourselves Christians. I am not no follower of no Christianity, this white supremacist. And even where does that come? So Christianity, the the Baptist churches, and all these oh, yeah, denominations, denominations that yeah. derives from something bigger. Yeah, it comes from basically all the Roman Catholic Church is the father of all denominations. Out of that, you get the Church of Christ, you get Church of God in Christ, you get Baptist, you get Jehovah mm -hmm. Witness, you get all these different things, right? But all of these come from a period known as the Council of Nicaea, where all these European, Constantine, and a lot of them created the wait, Christianity. Wait, wait, so you telling me that our ancestors who are oppressed, <laughs> our oppressors, are the ones that are teaching us the gospel. Bing! So if the gospel had anything to do, like if the children of Israel was pertaining to us, do you think that our oppressor would tell you who you are? No <laughs> cash money. You cannot expect the person that brought you here in chains to tell you and live that you God special. Y'all got to understand these things now. Like I did a video where I showed you the Jewish Encyclopedia and how it has the Yoruba, the Bantu, uh, the Igbo being descendants of the Israelites because they couldn't hold it. It's so much overwhelming evidence. And then I got Babylon and Timbuktu, which is by a black scholar who also <laughs> attests to these things. And the Bible dictionary tells you that the Negro are not the sons of Ham, like Egyptians and that kind of thing. But that we descend from Shem, who is the father of the Israelite people. I'm, I'm just being real, y'all. You have to research this stuff on your own. And a lot of stuff we do, we wouldn't do if we knew. Mm -hmm. Like, we wouldn't be celebrating Christianity and Christmas trees. This is America. Don't catch you slipping, no. If we knew that the Bible, first of all, doesn't do that. They don't celebrate Christmas. 
And if for it, Christmas, we're not supposed to, we're supposed to be celebrating Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Uh -huh. I'm talking about a the Day of Atonement. Passover. Passover. The week of unleavened bread. Unleavened bread, and that's what we celebrated <laughs> as household. So in case y'all think we're yeah, go ahead. Like the week before last, we celebrated unleavened bread, mm -hmm. and basically it's the prelude to Passover, the the feast that the, that you have at the end of that. Um, where you get the lamb out and the unleavened bread. You know, the church had them little crackers in the wine juice out. The <laughs> grape juice. Grape juice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but we do it based on the Bible where you have the glass of wine, you have the lamb, you have the unleavened bread. And that whole week, you don't eat leaven. Y'all, that thing hard, Jack. Yes. I'm talking about, you can't eat uh, burgers because the bread is leavened. Honey buns, certain cereals. We cleaned that out of our whole house. We didn't eat it. <laughs> and it's, it's a... A sense of accomplishment that you have when you're really serving God and doing what God told you to do, especially as his people. Mm -hmm. He commanded us to keep the commandments. The reason black people are getting shot on the streets now, the reason we suffer now, and the reason we went into slavery is because not keeping God's commandments. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me that Christ died so that you don't have to keep his commandments when the reason you in the predicament you were in as a people is because you didn't keep them. It does not make common sense, y'all. Christ died to atone for the sin that you might fall short in. Not, not that you might abuse the grace of God and keep sinning. That's not the purpose of grace. Grace is to teach you eventually to deny sin. Because when God is so loving and he's so forgiving and he's so kind to you, eventually that should be reciprocated with obedience, with faith, with keeping his commandments. And that's not what's being taught in the Christian church. That's why your boy ain't no Christian, Jay. I am a follower of the Most High God as his children, as Zion is, as we the children of Zion, the children of Israel. We keep God's commandments. We're going to teach our seed to do it in the faith of Christ, the biblical Christ, not the blonde haired blue eyed man, but the black woolly haired Negro Hebrew of the tribe of Judah, y'all. Mm -hmm. With woolly hair, eyes like fire, and skin like bronze. That's Revelation That's 114. Biblical. That's biblical. If black people knew that Christ looked like them, you think the white man gonna tell you that the historical Yeshua of Nazareth, 2,000 years ago, that fled into Egypt, Africa, to hide from Herod, the man was black. You think the white man gonna tell you that the Lord God of, of creation, the son of the living God, looked like y'all? And then, you know, people like to say, okay, well, color doesn't matter. Oh, Skin doesn't God. matter. I love okay. that. I love that one, y'all. I love that. <laughs> that's, that's what a lot of people because like to say. Because they say it don't matter, but they ain't going to tell you the truth. Apparently, right. it matters if y'all are hiding truth. Because and not I'm with only you. that, okay, say it, people are saying it doesn't matter. Okay, Christ. Christ was a real man, right? No. Uh -huh. Christ walked the earth. Yeah. What body was he in? Mm -hmm. That's a good question, y'all. Okay. See, see, speaking of okay, the body. Okay, so the body he chose, I think it mattered. I think yeah. everything, every detail, it, it matters to God. Yeah. So, don't you think those people, that the body he came out of is special? And any people that derive from the body that he came out of are special? See, I think so. <laughs> y'all y'all out here doing this. This is what y'all doing. <laughs> So I don't let people on. tell you that it doesn't matter. Maybe not an actual tone color matters, but the people, the color is just to get the human mind to understand the concept of a people. But mm -hmm. the people matter. They matter. It yeah. might look like they're not of a Black certain lives matter, color, but they're still the same people. Yeah. And, and, and I love what Shani doing because <laughs> these things matter. The Bible says in 1 John 4.3, that any spirit that denies that Christ came in the flesh is the spirit of Antichrist. Now we read that and we'll be like, well, we believe Christ came on earth. But if I asked you, okay, what people he came from? What region on earth did he live in? Are there any of those people left? Are they left? You will deny that. So to deny his people is to deny him. Y'all got to get that now. Every time Trayvon, Mike Brown, Philandro Castle, every time these brothers get shot on the street, you shooting the image of God because Christ, that's his people, and he looked like these folks. But these same folks kill these young black men and say they love a black Christ? It blows my mind. That's the difference between our people and other people. We have been able to love Christ despite what he looked like because we're, we love people. But there are people that if you told them the truth about what Christ looked like, some folks wouldn't even serve him. And that is, that is some scary stuff, y'all. Mm -hmm. That, and, and we just want to educate y'all. We want, Don't take my word for it. Read the Bible for yourself. Read Revelation 114 that said his, his arms and the feet the color of brass with a glow to that thing. Read it. And don't don't be the don't be the so-called black person that's like, but what about white people? My best friends like uh, my my this is that or whatever other race. Don't don't be that person because usually other races, 
understand. Mm -hmm. They can be like, yeah, that makes sense. Because they are they already are unified in their uh -huh. own people. It's usually black people that are like, well, what about this group of people? What about this group and of people? Let me deal with that, y'all. Right now, the coronavirus <laughs> is trying to wake up black America. We need to unify. We need to stay close to our family. And we need to turn back to God. And, and, and I'm telling y'all, we are serious about this. We've been thinking about this for days, about getting this information out to y'all and telling y'all the truth. Because this is the thing what Shani D is saying. Everybody else telling you color don't matter and love everybody. Let me give you an analogy. If somebody asks me for $50, but I don't got it in my bank account, I can't give it to you. That's just straight 100. We as a people have been expected to give love to everybody else, but we are spiritually bankrupt from loving our own selves, y'all. And that's the gospel. Hashtag JV Zion. I'm trying to tell you. Until you rightfully appreciate yourself, mm -hmm. love your kinky woolly hair. Who told us it was dreadlocks? There's nothing dreadful about it. Mm -hmm. Who told us to despise dead gum your own black hair and you blonde in that thing like Becky with the quote unquote good hair? And who gets to decide that? <laughs> black folks, y'all better get well, y'all better wake up from your nightmare, Jack. Because it's time for us to appreciate who we are so that we can really love other people. That means you first have to focus on yourself, y'all. The Bible says love your neighbor as you love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you can't love your neighbor. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. So, y'all, we, we, just, we just had to give y'all this service announcement. But basically, y'all, we the people of God. If you are a Yoruban, if you are an Igbo, if you are Bantu, if you came to America through slave ships, you, you fulfilled Deuteronomy 28, 68. That said God's people will go through these things because of them not keeping the commandments. So Israel, it's time to wake up, keep the commandments. Y'all be safe out there with the coronavirus going on. Don't be celebrating no pagan holidays. If you can't find no verse that say celebrate Resurrection Sunday, which he didn't even rise on Sunday, it would have been on the Sabbath Saturday, but that's a different thing. Because if you even Google, if you Google what the Sabbath is, mm -hmm. is it going to say Sunday? I... I don't, I don't know. It don't tell you. Comment down below. Google what the Sabbath is and tell us what it says. It'll tell you Saturday, y'all. <laughs> now, the Christian church say there's such thing as a Christian Sabbath, which is Sunday. The Greeks worshiped the sun god, and they moved the dead gum Sabbath when they dead gum made the universal faith of Christianity. They moved the Sabbath to Sunday because they worshiped the sun god. The New Testament is written in Greek because the dead gum Romans was ruling Israel back then. And a lot of stuff we do come from oppression in multiple ways. <laughs> the Europeans were ruling then, and they ruling now. The more this information goes out, the more black people turn back to knowing who they are as the children of Israel. The closer we come to changing this hell that we're living in and Christ coming back and making a new heaven and a new earth, y'all. Why our people is on top, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. So, y'all, I mean, it's so much we got to say about this, but we want to tell y'all to be safe. Yeah. Be safe. Black people, use wisdom and discretion. Stay at home. Pray. Seek the Most High. And I ain't talking about no Christianity. Pray to seek the God of heaven for yourself. Read the Bible for yeah. yourself, y'all. And you'll see everything we're saying is the truth. Is the one hundred percent true? Read it for yourself. Pray, meditate on it, and come back and watch the video. That's black people is God's elect. We the apple of His eye. When God created all groups of people, He set the bounds of those people based on us as a people. This is scripture, y'all. And He waiting on until His people who are called by His name. We quote it in church, but we don't know the context of what it's talking about. Until God's people. Until whose people? God's people. Mm -mm. That means God has a people. That what means everybody saying? ain't his people. Y'all better wake up. Read the Bible. The Bible's by Israel, y'all. So it's about who and knowing who that people is. And I got so much evidence. Like them dictionaries I showed y'all. Let me show you again. You can, you can, and this is written by white folks. And they'll tell you <laughs> that Yoruba, Ebo, these are the descendants of Israel. They'll tell you what tribe they come from. That's why we are the Yoruba, Benai Ephraim in this household. And you can search it. The tribe of Ephraim, the tribe of Joseph. And I take pride in that thing, knowing this information. Because since African ancestry, I've been learning so much. That African ancestry will tell you what group of people in Africa. Mm -hmm. So then you can Google that people. And the more you research, you'll find out, wait, black folks, we come from God. We're the children of Israel. But you got to spread the word. You got to keep God's commandments. I ain't trying to go too long, but I'm turning back to the beat. But I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> Study y'all. There's books out here. Read the good book. And it'll tell you these things. Go ahead and get ready to end this video. But ultimately, you guys. Be safe. Be safe. Stay at home. Spend time with your families. Um, pray. Meditate on his word. No more Resurrection Sunday, y'all. I know. <laughs> no more Easter. I know it hurts. I know you grew up. We gotta with tell you the truth, y'all. No more Easter baskets. Well, we want y'all to grow. We want y'all to know. With the fifty dollars in the eggs in the backyard under the oak tree back. There. Okay. No more that, y'all. No go to eggs. We ain't doing that, y'all. We keeping God's commandments. We too smart now. Knowledge is increasing. 
study. This stuff come from religion, not from God. That's why we ain't Christians. We Israelites, me brother. I'm trying to tell you. Like any good lawyer in a courtroom, he tells you what he's gonna prove. All right. And then he goes ahead and proves it and let the jury make the decision. And with that being said, my name is Shani Dila. And this is your boy JB's I ain't on the train. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Are you coming to the camera? Say bye-bye. One day when the glory comes, it will be ours.